Man, um, I didn't. I didn't have a script. This is not scripted. This is just, you know, I've been, I've been forty. I've been forty years old for forty years. <laughs> no, um, I'm turning forty, and and it's I. I'm. I'm. Sometimes I'm. I'm okay. Not sometimes. All the time. I'm a social guy. I am a social guy, which you guys know already. This is, first of all, let me just say, this is just an open mic, open format. I wanted to play music with the brothers who I've been playing, this last leg of mine that I've been playing with, especially on this compa tip. Um, I wanted to take time to show you all, each and every single one of y'all, how much I love you. And, and the way... I can do that aside from being with you every day like when I'm with you guys every weekend um, is this. And I, God gave me this opportunity to have this place. Um, it's an opportunity for me to just spend time with brothers who I'm always with every weekend and, and now publicly just taking the time to love on you guys and honoring you guys, honoring you guys on how great you are, how much of a great musician's you are, how much you've grown, no duh. You've grown like tremendously sank. His ear has, it's impeccable. Jimmy, like your solos for me. I'm gonna talk about all y'all today. This is, this is my way of giving back to show the world on how much I love y'all. And before I die, the world going to see this. I don't know how, I don't know when, but they're going to see this and they're going to see what love look like. I wish there was once upon a time that, you know, they're going to buy a go sign in the HMI, but apparently we don't. It's okay. We're about to have it now and about to be with y'all. Um, um, so I, there's a story for everybody. There's a story, I have a story for everybody. And I, and I, I say open format because everybody have a microphone, so everybody got to talk. This is not a time to be shy. Straight up. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. <laughs> Trust me, Jimmy. Jimmy Yo, did they take yo yo? Did they take your microphone? Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not on. Yeah, yeah one two. Oh, his microphone is like the lightest microphone. Dang, is it because he's tall? Yes. Yeah. Put it down a little bit. <laughs> Dope. So, I just really want to you know make it an open format where we can talk, clown, vibe, play. Mm -hmm. Grieve. If crying happens, crying happens. If yelling happens while we playing, like, oh, I like that. You know, we, like when we on stage, it just those are the things that people don't see, and I can't, I can't be the only one experiencing this with you guys. Like for my birthday, I don't care about the bottle. I don't care about being around people. I want to be around people that loves me and I love them back. That's just what it is. I'm about to be forty. I've been playing compa. Since the age, publicly, since the age 16 years old. Technically, I've been playing in the HMI since 14 because I used to play with King Posse. We could talk about that story later. Right. But, um, and this is what this is all about. Talk about the times where either you played or you, you heard or the band. Like, it's all about us right now. I just really want to, again, take this time to honor Josh, Shasha, Nodua, my twin, Bon Blanc, Jimmy. Quadred la Jimmy. Quadred you. Stanley. <laughs> want to honor Stanley. And I definitely want to honor my freaking brother here who I love dearly. People know him as Saint. Five Land, Five Land. People know him as Five Land. <laughs> People know him as Junior. Um, but I just call him bruh. I've been around him for the past been working together for the past what 13 years bro now it's 13 years yeah. oh, more than that. see you gotta be talking to the microphones they can't hear you bro that's fine you know, though, though. yeah about yeah. 13 years no more than that about more than 13 years my daughter's 13, 12 now I'm about to be 12 yeah. how old was she, was she, she wasn't born yet? yeah yeah she wasn't born what who trinity no um, it's adora oh, it's adora no when Naila Cole came to the house facts 
Oh, way before that. Ah, yeah, we worked way before yeah. that. Nyla Cole was how many years? After 12, 12 years now. 12, yeah. 12 years with Nyla Cole. Yeah. So, uh, uh, so let's, we, we've, been, we've been working together. We've been hang, homies working together for about what, 15, 14? 14, 14, 14, 15 yeah. years? Yeah. And plus and change? Um, I don't take that lightly. I don't, I don't take that lightly. I don't care for anybody. You, anybody can take that lightly all they want. But for me, this is my way of giving back, saying that I love you publicly. Appreciate you, bro. And I don't want to, and I don't need to wait for my guy Malri I'm like, oh, I'm so long time Nah, man. I'm going to honor you right now while we are alive. And this is what this is all about for me. Um, so we're going to talk about some music, ask questions to each other about music, what we think about when this happens. Um, since we on the Nyla Cove track, that was uh, Hold Me Tight. Hold Me Tight. Scent came around. Let me just say this. Scent came around, if people didn't know, when <laughs> I gave up on HMI. He was one of the first person who gave me credit. And let me tell you what he gave me credit. I, I didn't, I was in, I, and a funny thing is, if you go check my SoundCloud, it's, it's about 12 years old, but I don't have not one thing on my SoundCloud. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I only got SoundCloud because that was the first time I got credit publicly aside from coming out of my house and and um, what the hell and whatever, whatnot. I saw Sink, he gave me credit. I was like, Yo, he, this, this, that's an act of like appreciation. He loves me, man. He gave me credit. And I had wanted to give up on, I gave up on the HMI because, you know, I'm too sure I to have a one and you do things for, you know, I, I, build, I do music off of my heart relationship. I, I build music. Or we work with. I work with people because of relationship. We have a relationship. We're gonna work, and we're gonna do the good deed after that. A lot of times after the work, you know, I don't. I don't see the good deed, but we ain't gonna talk about that right now. But uh, uh, the, the 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 good deed that I did see here that cultivated me to be here this long was the fact that that one day he gave me credit. And that was on the first credit. I was on SoundCloud. I think it was What the Hell. Yeah. What the hell? I was at my mom's house at the time. Yeah. In my room. People knew how to come and get tracks. Gasman, and everybody, they knew how to come and get tracks. They, they want to come. They want to come. They want records or whatever. They come and knock on my room, my door room. I could be sleeping. Fossil man. They knock. Who's that? Is this me, y'all? Whatever. And they would do record. But um, my mom knew everybody. My dad knew everybody. Anyway, so. Talking about what the hell, what the hell, what the heck we was talking about, what the heck we was thinking about. It was me, Sink, Handy. Yeah. Yeah, you brought the Andy around. I didn't even know Andy. Yeah, you didn't even know Handy. Yeah, man. You didn't know Handy. He was a perfect candidate for that track. Facts. Yeah. Facts, facts. He really was perfect candidate. And he did a great job. Yes. And um, I have to say this, too. What's while that? We, while you're alive right now. Um, Alan Cave was the... Brother, that put me on to you, man. Oh, really, really, really put me on to you. Uh, <laughs> Alan, Alan Carvey. Carvey. Yeah. Alan Carvey. So I used yeah. to, I used to hang <laughs> around J Beat's studio a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. And was that the studio that was on um, by by Miami Gardens when it was yes. inside? Yes, that, that was by the nice garage. Studio. By yeah. the garage. Yes, I was very. It was, that was dope. A nice studio. Very dope. Oh my gosh. So Alan started working with J Beats. I remember that. And time. At that time, that's when I came out. I was trying to come out with sexual healing, mm -hmm. and he referred me. He was like, "Yo, the best dude for backgrounds in the Chiang Mai right now is Harold. Hit him up." So I hit you up. I was like, "I want need some backgrounds. You need just some backgrounds." And I was like, "How much you gonna charge?" He said, "We're gonna talk about it later." He did the background vocals. <laughs> 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 Read the subtitles, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> he, wow. He referred me. <laughs> he referred me to you, 
And then you did the background vocals. Yeah. And I remember it was, you were like, I was like, man, this dude, you know, and you know, that, you know, that left a stamp in my heart. I was like, yo, oh, man. No, it's, at that time I was just starting. I didn't even know where to go. You know, I was, had people directing me. And then when I uh, went to Harold, I was like, yo, I don't see why I'm going to charge, man. You know, we good, we good. So mm-hmm. from there, you know, built, we built a, you know, long lasting relationship. Facts. You know? Facts. Yeah, man. Facts. What the hell? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Y'all done? What the hell? What the hell? Right. No, but it's not what the hell. What the hell? <laughs> he came up with that name. <laughs> that was great. Oh, man. That was great. We already see what type of night this is going to be. What's up, Kato? Say I'm 
dit à ce fait à Wall, nous ne pouvons pas souhaiter. Bon, à Wall, bonne fête, chérie. Nous aimons. Happy birthday, happy birthday. You know what it is? You know what it is? Je vais l'appuyer le marché. Appuyer le marché, c'est pas ça. Appuyer le marché, c'est pas ça. Il t'est à ta marché. Bella Fesson, 